Hey Leo, how's it going? This is going to be a two-in-one reading. We're going to do a few cards for the super full moon energy that's taking place on the 3rd of July. Um, and then I'm going to get into your love reading. So you know to always take what resonates. I try to make it as personal as possible. But truth be told, it's not going to resonate for each and every one of you. It couldn't possibly. So do take what resonates. Make sure you watch your moon sign reading um, because of the super full moon energy. And then, you know, always watch your rising and your Venus placement readings. I am still waiting for those two people to get back to me for the two free personal love readings that I offered in the month of June. So for those of you that participated, make sure you're paying attention to your notifications because I did reach out to two people. I will be announcing the July giveaway. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. Not only will you get notification of additional readings that I post, but also you can take part in the monthly giveaways. It's as simple as being a subscriber and leave a, a certain emoji down below in the comment section and it will differ each month what that emoji is. I will be announcing the Julys shortly. All right, Leo, this is how the super full moon energy is gonna affect your sign. Your habits and routines will be your focus on July 3rd as the full moon takes place in your sixth house. As a create creature of habit, as a creature of habit, you tend to feel most accomplished when you're sticking to some sort of structure in your daily life. And this lunation is bringing the urge for refinement in this area. It may be time to make some adjustments to your productive efforts or a moment to rest and recharge your body after a long week. While you may be feeling eager to get started, try to pace yourself today, Leo, and throughout the next couple weeks. You don't want to exhaust yourself. We feel before the real work has begun. All right, let's see. The royal you. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. A deep breath. Exactly what I just read to you. Seven, seven. So pay attention to when you see repeating sevens in this super full moon energy. A time for you to really focus on yourself. Allow yourself a break. Maybe take a vacation. Maybe see that you do need a vacation, start planning, but for you to just become centered and grounded with yourself, spending some time in solitude, doing what Leo loves to do, but really focusing on yourself and coming in tune with the best version of you. Awesome. I love that. Seven, seven. I do feel a shifting in energy and some luck coming your way. I picked up the wrong cards. Let's see what some what other messages I can get for this super full moon energy. Spirit for my Leos during the super full moon energy. I feel an offer coming towards you. Could be an offer from a friend or a family member. Could even be a love interest coming your way. The Page of Cups. Someone reaching out to you wanting to spend time with you. Definitely could be a romantic gesture. Somebody who's interested in you. They may have strong earth and water in their chart. Now, remember, you being so goal-focused and goal-oriented and what you normally do from day to day could be that time where you take a step back and allow yourself some fun. But I do feel someone who's interested in you and wants to come towards you. Someone who feels a very strong connection with you, Leo. We have earth and water here, so it's possible they could have earth and water in their chart. I feel somebody definitely who is grounded, wanting to come towards you and make that gesture. But remember, like I said, it could be a friend. It could be a family member wanting to hang out with you during this energy. But you allowing yourself time to have some fun. But I do feel someone 
is like crushing on you, wanting to come towards you, feeling this union with you, Leo. We have Gemini energy here, but air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we have water, earth, and air showing up immediately. All right. We're going to do past, present, and future energy and get into your love reading. So in terms of love and romance, you have felt loss. Five of Cups energy. For some of you, you could have been ghosted, been given the silent treatment, been left in the dark, on the outside looking in. Present energy. You could be going through a twin flame connection. I'm not going to say for each and every one of you, Leo, so we're going to go with a strong soul tie to someone. For others of you, it's going to be a twin flame, two people that mirror one another. You know that I say rarely you, you stay together the first time coming into union with your twin flame. But it's through that experience with one another that you trigger something in each other to, be, to move on your journey separately, independently, really focusing and growing on your path. Sometimes you're meant to come into contact with your twin flame. Others... You're not meant to come in contact in that lifetime with each other. But it's that growth, it's that karma that you pay back from other lifetimes. But there's definitely a soul contract here. I truly feel someone's wearing a mask and not telling you how they truly feel about you, Leo. And look at the bottom of the deck. This strong soul contract that you celebrate with someone. With this person. You may feel that they've completely moved on. You may see that they've, you know, watching from afar, you may feel and think that they've moved on. But I feel someone's wearing a mask. They know how they feel about you. And with the king of coins type energy, sometimes, sometimes a king of coins energy can be so determined and grounded and kind of like stubborn. That they're not willing to let you know their true feelings for you. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. You are focused on yourself these days, Leo. Being your best self. Reaping the rewards of your labor. Providing that stability and security for yourself. Not wanting to make a decision. I mean, if you're living your best life single... You know, it's like, but I feel a decision's going to need to be made during this energy. Are you missing someone, Leo? Cross watchers, are you missing Leo? Who went silent on one another? Who might have ghosted the other? I feel like you're definitely in your head about someone, Leo. Strong earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And like I said, this person is going to come in very grounded. Leo, you may have a decision to make. We have a queen of pentacles and a queen of cups. Up here we had the page of cups and the king of coins. We have earth and water energy showing up here strongly. You may have moved on, started dating, know you share a soul contract with someone in this lifetime. And you let, you put your hands up, you're like, you know what, I got to start dating. I can't wait for this person. We're not always meant to be with our soulmate in a lifetime. And knowing that you've moved on. But I feel a decision's going to need to be made. Someone is coming in very romantic. And I do feel at some point it's going to be a burden because it's like new or old love. You know one of them is a soulmate and you're going to need to make a decision. This soul contract does exist in this lifetime for you, Leo. Let's see what else we got.
Yeah, you moved on. This person, whether you or them, it's like both of you are missing each other from afar. But not willing to make a choice, not willing to make take off that blindfold and face moving towards each other. But this will be extended to you, Leo. They have got strong emotions for you. They're missing you. There is definitely heartbreak here. For some of you, it's definitely a love triangle. And look at this. This is the cue card in this deck, and I know other of you have seen it on your other readings. This is Destiny Airlines, so this could be a distance that you share between you and another person. Physical difference, different state, different country. There might be some traveling involved for you to reconnect with this person. But if you notice, it says departure, the fool, taking that leap of faith. Arrival, the world, a brand new cycle beginning between you and this person. And it does say summer. So I am feeling during this, these summer months. All right, Spirit, please clarify the Three of Swords and the Death card. Yeah, you, for those of you that were dealing with a water sign, you had a very hard ending with this water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They may have strong air in their chart, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This water sign wants to make an amends. Very hard ending. And why the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups? The Eight of Wands. I do feel like fast movement here. Communication coming in from two different people. You may currently be dealing with one, but I do feel two options are going to be in front of you and you needing to make a choice. You're going to... It, it, you're stuck in your head about one of them. You are definitely stuck in your head about one of them, but it's a soulmate... There's a reason you're overthinking this, Leo. There's a reason you mentally cannot get this person out of your mind. It's because you share such a strong connection with them. But for some of you, it's going to be at a time that this person returns where you're talking to someone or have a situationship with another person. Why the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords? Remember, Leo, you're focusing on you and you're the best you. So do not do not let this shake you. You've got this. Yeah. You cannot stop thinking about one another. I feel like deep in your heart you know that this is your end-all, be-all person, Leo. Now I definitely have to get messages from them to you. But you know what? Before I do that, let me get additional clarity on what's going on here between Leo and these people coming towards Leo. Finances. Now you and this this person, this person could be lack, they could have been lacking finances or stability in their own life. They might have had like burdens that lied on them in terms of their finances. You may have been going through some struggles. But this is going the distance, Leo. This is long term. They want long term with you. And there again is the confirmation that you share a soul contract with this person. Wow, this is an amazing reading. Messages from Leo's person to Leo. From Leo's person to Leo. Alright. 
Anything else? All right, we got a few, so we're going to take them. Guys, never try to make it fit, but do take what resonates. The universe brought us together for a reason. I, I am discovering what these reasons are. I do feel a lot of soul growth within your person. Our mission is unconditional love. Clearing our programming, our past, leaving the old baggage, the old coping mechanisms. Clearing our programming is a necessary part of both of you op opening up your hearts towards one another. Both of your inner children in some fashion from your past as a child till now have caused, have caused those programming whether negative or positive, whether baggage or, you know, moving, it's, or your coping mechanisms, our inner children are crying out right now. We need to be good parents and comfort them. I really feel the ending between you and this person wounded both of your inner children. I want to know everything about you, but I hold myself back. I'm afraid of get, getting in too deep. Two people Leo, that are crazy for one another. You can't deny this. I'm afraid you're going to meet someone else before I'm ready to be with you. Someone who just might have been lacking commitment. Not ready for it. Finances weren't okay. They needed to find their own stability. A lot of growth within both of you. We have soulmate. One. Two. Three. Do you see this? With the lovers, twice. And 11-11 and the Ace of Cups. Leo, this is huge. But please remember, you are your best self. There's no decision that you need to make immediately. So don't let this coming back into your life rock you too much. Take that step back and think it out. Y, V, T, Z, Q, we have all the odd ones, R, O, I, K, P, N, a and blank scrabble tile and we have rye here richard rye um maybe ryan but i know rye is r y i don't know always take what resonates leo please leave a message and let me know how it resonates because this is an amazing reading but no matter what you're both taking that leap of faith and starting a brand new cycle. All right, love and light, Leo. And remember, go ahead and subscribe and tune back into my next session of readings because I will be announcing the July giveaway.